Can I trust you with the secret? Before I was even born, I was identified as a problem, a risk, an embarrassment, a danger, both to those closest to me and to society at large. Steps were taken. Procedures were already in place. The problem was whisked away to a secret location. A cover story was provided. All communications were screened. As soon as I was born, I was immediately taken away, for they knew. They knew that my very scent, the touch of my skin, was dangerous. If my mother were allowed to smell or touch or feel me in any way, it would unleash an irreversible primal flow of hormones that would affect her for life. Procedures were then followed. A fictitious birth certificate was issued and all records sealed, allegedly to protect the child, but in reality, to build a wall between me and my secret identity, my true identity. I am not alone. Millions of adults now living in the U.S. are still considered state secrets, with no access to their records or their own identities. But now, new technology, DNA, has superseded the antiquated thinking and has bypassed the archaic laws that protect this failed social experiment. Thousands of adoptees are now discovering their identities, their families, and their heritage. For me, this happened on March 7, 2014. I'm waiting a long time well, for this. I know. This. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you look like one of my kids. Really? <laughs> yeah. And Uncle Rick even. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. brother. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, many Ricks. I know when I look in those, those photos. Yeah. And so, I know. We've just been and going crazy. Like oh, you I said, well, that's not what I'm calling. We sent my dad's DNA into Ancestry for his birthday. And um, looks like there was a match. And then she goes, we got this message. And she read me this message. And as she goes, I was born in Los Angeles on May 28th, 1964. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, it's my brother. I know it is. <laughs> Since that first meeting, I've connected with a full brother, full sister, aunts, uncles, grandparents, and cousins. I've experienced firsthand the life-changing power of connection and belonging. Of course, not all reunions are positive or successful. Even in the best of circumstances, there's a whirlwind of emotions to navigate and potentially decades of trauma to overcome. Understanding the many potential challenges ahead can help to make first contacts more successful. Armed with the right tools, the right perspective, and the right attitude, you too can help the many thousands who have yet to connect and feel what it is to belong. Let's get all of Rootstech engaged in this great work.